to go. Here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Dallas Cowboys and the Green Bay Packers. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. I know I spend a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers, but they're still big people. He used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. You ain't doing nothing today. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Second and nine now. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Looking to throw. Montgomery. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Tony Pollard. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A big run there. 29 yards and a first. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. And an alley to run. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Cowboys. How about that? Their quarterback, his sixth touchdown of the season. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. On the 
About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 13 yards, first down Packers. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. And to give this time to the tailback. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What, is it three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Strip that ball. This is Hines. And he'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. 13 yards, first down, Packers. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there, they blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. And he'll give it here to his running back. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Mike 19. Third down, Hines, and he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position, now more than ever, is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes, and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Now on fourth and inches, they're going to want to talk this over. We get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So now the Packers turn things over to the special teams crew. They're on for the field goal try. And his kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown, but that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. But conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light there. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like you had green on that play. 
A big play on the ground there. It goes for 36 yards. I don't care what the game plan was coming in. After these runs... You're running it, right? <laughs> you, you, you make sure you keep circling on your play sheet. Running plays that are working and keep patting those big offensive linemen on the back. They're doing a great job. It goes without saying the defense is going to have to adjust to it. In a big way. And they've got to figure out, do they have to sell out to stop the run? Or can they just do it better than what they've done so far? And between the last two plays, they've moved it over half the length of the football field. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Off play action, Beer. He'll run it, and he's got some space here. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. How about that touchdown, partner? If you blinked, you probably missed it. I looked away for just a second, and they were in the end zone. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. It's a part of now. Back, back, back. Now a give right side. It's Hines. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and 10. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. third down Montgomery and that one is incomplete and it also concludes quarter number one after one a 14 to 3 ball game and the punt team on now as this one sent away this is taken at the 15 a big boot that time, 57 yards the official distance. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. At the 22 yard line. Here we go, let's bring it. Let's go, let's bring it. Second and 11. Looking left side, and it's complete. A big play here for Dallas. 43 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. 
But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely look for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Off the play fake, Beer. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Hindsight is 2020, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. On second down, it's Pollard. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. He may try and run for this. And they'll get this down to the 10. And that one will go for 13 yards on the keeper. And a first down. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Back to throw. Beer toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. You can't be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. On second down, Pollard. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the 6. So it's third and 6, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Looking to throw. Beer. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now it's Hines. You ain't doing nothing today. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Throwing on third and long, Montgomery. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get up field and get after the quarterback. It's been such an impressive first half to get that lead. Yeah, this is taken at the 23. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And yeah, last time they were able to churn some clock. They got the field goal added onto their lead, but that was a drive that was so long it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game. But we probably should go to the post-game press conference because someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive, and he's going to profess that he was happy to get points, but we know that's not true. Okay, after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. to throw. Beer. Packer pressure and down he goes. Lorenzo Carter in there to take him down on what will take us to the two minute warning. And we've hit the two minute mark in this first half of action. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18 yard line it looks like. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Well, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. It's a big play that time for the Packers. And even 50 yards on the ground. And runs like that with explosiveness. That's what this rookie can bring to the table. And add to it speed, patience, vision. A rookie has all of that. That's usually a veteran's combo play. I love this guy. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now a handoff looking right and hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. On first down, Pollard. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. On second down now, Pollard. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. complete. A good pick up there, 21 yards. On the 
set. Check, check Mike 54. Mike 54. I'll get him. Get him. Looking to throw on second down. Beer. He's got the hook up here on the comebacker. Complete. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Looking to throw, Beer. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. The kick by Carlson is good. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. That's fielded in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to them. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 24. And they have the football, and will take over at the 24-yard line. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, this is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. On first down, Beer. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go to the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. Shift, shift. To throw on second down. Beer. And an alley to run. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Now a handoff here. 
here to his running back. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. You must be, you must be getting tired of seeing me. Second and one. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Four yards the pick up, first down. When the offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because there should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. That throw good for four. It's second down. And partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. You got nothing. Check four, check four. Second and six. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. He can run for it, and he will. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Ready up, 54. Mike, 54. You, you, you. You, you, you. Right there, 54. Right there, right there. 54, Mike. Oh, Throwing on first down. Beer. He's going to let it go deep for the end. And this is going to be intercepted. Snags it for the pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. But they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and saying, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. Here's a handoff to Hines to begin the drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Back to throw. Montgomery, that's complete to Hines out of the backfield. Call it a gain of three, and that'll make this a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. And they'll try the jet sweep here. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. But not a big gain with that play, but what they're doing is they're spreading the defense out, probing a little bit, and what they're hoping probably is that later in the game, they can create a matchup that they can exploit for big yardage later. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Montgomery. And Ingram holds it in. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. And to give this time to the tailback. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and 11 at the 48-yard line. Set putt, team. Six yards. Looking to throw on second down. Montgomery. And an alley to run. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 36. 
Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. They run with Hines. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Back to throw. Montgomery looking for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Third down. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Operating from the gun, Montgomery. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Back now at Lambeau. It's the Packers who have the football but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. Yeah, let's get set lunch. Check 13. Check 13. They'll run on first down. Hines. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Naeem Hines, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Packers get a score closer. The extra point up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting and the kick is away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards all told as he's taken down back shy of the 20. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Going to run again here with Pollard. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This time they face a third and two. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. On fourth down, Beer. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Well, we looked at each other in surprise going for it on fourth down of the fourth quarter with a lead, but hey, you get it as a coach, you look like a genius. So the next time we see Coach, he's going to rush coming, and he's taken down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Well executed there on second down, so do you go back to the air on third? Well, that's a possibility, but now you've opened up things to where you showed that you would run the ball in long-distance situation. You might come back again because I doubt they believe you'll do it a second time. And he's got his man on the out route. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. This quarterback now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. And for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Second and 10. 
This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. From the gun, Beard. He'll let this go for the end zone. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. And 10 yards to go. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. Hey, check Black 34. Black 34. Man, I got you. Man, I got you. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stack sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. What, he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there work on positioning the football and helping their team. On first and 10, Montgomery finds his tight end, Ingram. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. Check 15, check off, off. Looking to throw, Montgomery, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. to throw Montgomery and that'll be incomplete good protection that time and they couldn't hook up on the long one now it's third down this defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball and they were more than ready for it they've got the lead fourth quarter maybe can expect more passes like that downfield now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off at the 33. Now the return will stop right around the 25. Keep in mind, he had the three interception game last week, so we requested to talk with him this week. He was all smiles. He's still all smile. Yeah, we didn't jinx him at all, did we? No. Because ordinarily that happens, uh, <laughs> things fall off, but not in this case. I think a lot of it goes back to his technique. His ability to see the quarterback throw the ball while understanding where the receiver is running his route allows him to make a lot of plays on the football, and he's taken it away at a really high rate. The run got four, now they deal with a second and six. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Looking to throw, Beard. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. That one looks like he'll throw here. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. 
A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here. And do something. Blitz coming, and down he goes. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. To throw on second down, Montgomery. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off near the 34. So many times we end a game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. He's got his man on the crossing route. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. On first down, Beer. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys turn that interception into a touchdown. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at about the 31. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirts. Yeah, he better figure, whatever the reason is, he better figure it out. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw. Beer. And he finds a man with a crossing round. And the ball is knocked out, and the Packers pick it up. Oh, 
So from the 36 now, first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, Montgomery. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. Now another timeout called for by the offense. 